Hey guys, what's going on? We're back working on the Z3s today. I've got my dad here. We just got back from the junkyard doing some junkyard shenanigans back here and back there. So uh, my dad drove up this weekend so that we could look at this car, which has kind of turned into just sitting on our hands at the moment. So. We switched gears, we went and pulled uh, another motor, and we started taking this car apart uh, so that we could mock up a motor in this one to do an engine swap in our other two cars. So this car became a giant question mark, so we don't really know what we're doing with that yet. But this car, we're gonna mock up the motors, get everything to work in this car, and then transplant it into the other two cars. So what we're gonna do today is just that bring the motor over stick it in here see how it's going to fit and kind of make a list of what we're going to have to do to get it to work we bought this car a couple weeks ago actually he bought this car a couple weeks ago down in utah and i drug it home and it already had been stripped so all i did was carefully remove the front uh support and uh set it over there and we kind of sort of started putting this one back together but found out that the frame is bent it's cracked here cracked here and in the same spot on the other side but uh we'll uh, get working on this and we'll show you what it looks like when we get to that point Okay guys, my dad and I have got to kind of a breakthrough point. There's some points that we need to go over to fix and I'll take you over those real quick. So here is the engine just kind of resting. You can see the motor mounts are not bolted down. They're just resting on some plates that we built. Um, they will be bolted up. We just need to go get some metal in the morning. Now an issue we ran into with this is the back of the supercharger. That's that's where the throttle body goes. So you can see the stud up at the top here. So the throttle body kind of sticks out real far. So we've got to come up with some way to either tightly turn that to get it to go over to this box over here or make some kind of a uh, intake that comes around the, the sides to make it thinner but uh, we also had to pull the oil pan Ooh, kicked my impact we had to pull the oil pan off and we'll have to make a custom oil pan uh, with a larger rear sump to compensate uh, and get everything to work correctly but uh, that's easy to do we just need to engineer it and get it done and then uh, transmission doesn't make it all the way back to uh, the original shift boot location. So we're coming up with some shifter relocation options. Uh, but as you can see, the steering will clear the starter and uh, we might have to move the ABS module uh, to be able to get the exhaust manifolds in. But uh, we can move that anywhere in the car with some rewiring and fancy pipe work. But uh, that's where we're at right now. We'll uh, keep updating you as I go.